Coming up on this portion of the journey, Marissa and I head into Wyoming with visits to Yellowstone National Park and Grand Teton National Park. And as always, lots of hiking and free dispersed camping. Enjoy. So it's 7.30 in the morning on Wednesday, July 21st, and we're out of the Gallatin National Forest where we had an awesome spot last night. So we both slept great, and now we've just gotten in and taken our iconic picture in front of the Yellowstone National Park sign, and uh, Marissa just spotted the first deer of the day, and now we're heading into the park, and we're trying to get a map and a brochure and make a plan from there. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Thank good. You We've got the pass. Yep. All right. That's you have great. a good day. We will. Thank you so much. All right. So we're into the park. We got our map. It's hard to see, but basically we're going to kind of start in the north, work ourselves all the way through the park to the south end via the route that goes by Yellowstone Lake. And then we're going to camp just outside the park. Tomorrow morning, we're going to double back and try to see really early in the morning old faithful and a couple other couple of really popular spots before the crowds come in and then we'll head back down into the uh, grand teton national park tomorrow so busy couple days friend. It's about 11 o'clock and we've worked our way, we've seen pretty much all there is to see on the northernmost portion of the park and now we're kind of on the northwestern road heading south and we pulled over at a rest stop area just to make some lunch and take in the scenery. Um, this morning was awesome, we saw a ton of stuff and definitely highlighted by the bison crossing the road, which was the most memorable thing that's happened to us so far. So anyway, gonna grab some lunch and then keep our work on our way towards the south, southernmost portion of the park. All right, it's about one o'clock and we've had lunch and now just doing a hike. We're in the canyon area part of the park. Planning on just doing a couple hours of hiking. It's a lot of short trails. I don't even know the names of them, but absolutely beautiful weather and beautiful setting and beautiful fiance. Pick up a few bonus points while I'm at it.
it's about 3.30 and Marissa and I are done with that awesome hike. We get to see so many different um, landscapes that uh, it was really unique, truly a, an unforgettable experience. And now we still got some ground to cover. So we're working on about an hour or two, probably to get all the way to the southernmost portion of the park and just get outside of it and try to find a spot to camp for the night. Right, it's about seven o'clock and we looked around for a campsite for a while. Not much to be had. We're in between the two national parks and honestly there wasn't really anything. So the best we could get was a little national forest parking lot and there's a few other people here already. And so um, we've already had dinner and got our showers, which was kind of difficult in public, but we made it work and got some water filtering right there. And now I just gonna jump up in the tent watch some Netflix and hopefully get a somewhat quiet night even though we're right next to the main road so we'll see. It's about 9.30 on Thursday, July 22nd, and Marissa and I have been up for about three hours now. We had a good sleep last night at that parking lot. It filled up pretty pretty full, actually, and um, slept fine. Got in, and we've just been kind of going to see a lot of stuff on the other side of the park that we didn't get to see yesterday, and right now, making coffee, and Marissa's on bean grinding duty, and then we're gonna go do a short hike just to go see. There's a colorful prismatic geyser basin that um, we could see at eye level but it's it should be better if we hike up to a better viewing point so that's what we're going to do so it's about noon and we just got done having lunch at lewis falls which was a really nice area as we kind of come out the southern end of Yellowstone and now it's just about five or ten miles in between the two national parks so next stop is Grand Tetons National Park
All right, so we're into the park and we had a good stop at the visitor center. Got a lot of good advice, got some water, all that kind of good stuff. And now we're heading towards Taggart Lake, which is kind of in the center of the park, more or less. And uh, it's crazy, like behind us, blue skies, ahead in the mountains, it's pretty ominous and we're feeling some raindrops already. So I'm not sure how far we're gonna make it, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Alright, so it's a little bit after 4.30 and we're just now leaving the park, which was awesome. We were only able to spend about a half day there because we were in Yellowstone for so long. But uh, they recommended us a really great hike, which is about four miles, and we saw a moose. Uh, we didn't get a great visual on it, but uh, it was there, I promise. Um, so, and uh, yeah, we didn't get wet that much on the hike either, which was nice. So, all in all, a really good experience, and we'd like to come back here again for sure. But uh, for now, we've got uh, some dispersed camping targeted that we're going to go try to hit up and stay there for the night. So after about a half hour of driving, we found this spot. All the really good spots out here were taken, but we're pretty happy with this. The views are amazing and it's nice and quiet. So all in all, we're pretty happy. And that actually brings uh, to a close the portion of time that we have for Wyoming. And so uh, we're going to tomorrow take uh, some time to go visit a friend of mine in Salt Lake City and she'll fly out the next day back to Hawaii via Seattle. And so, and then from there, I'll take up back on the road again, headed to Colorado. So we hope you enjoyed seeing Marissa again or beating her for the first time. And we hope you all are well, wherever you are, take care.